Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. Uh, for today I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar, I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. Basically the FMC um, was a very good um, catalyst for, um, for the Euro to finally uh, decide the direction and the breakout because not just on the euro basically we also got that on the crude oil um we had a breakout yesterday the usdn also had a nice breakout as we as we spoke about in previous sessions but the euro specifically finally broke the low that uh, we made in november 17 uh, last year which was at 1.1 um 90 level 1.1190 level we broke that relatively easily and also we broke the june mid-june 2020 low uh, pretty aggressive the date also looks the intraday structure also looked pretty uh, well distributed on the downside so i really uh, see a lot of potential in the next pair for them for the euro to drop even further so my advice will be to watch for a selling opportunities on the rallies on the continuational patterns using your intraday charts because I don't really see anything, uh, any meaningful support all the way down until, for example, 1.1015020, where we got a cluster of the highs from this distribution here. So this area here can be the play in the next period on the euro. Based on the momentum and based on the, the way how we distribute it, it can be actually relatively fast. We can achieve this if we continue with this momentum. So. Um, I really think we can go in next short-term period towards that 1.1 or 1.1015 level. If we break that, that can open a door. If we break that with a good momentum, that can open a door for 1.1080 um, and then 1.1070 and so on and so forth. But these are the next reference points for the euro. Watch for the uh, selling opportunities on the rallies or on the continuational patterns. Speaking of the gold, seems like gold is still locked in this heavy consolidation. I got a daily chart for you here, so you basically see um, gold didn't have a power to retest uh, 1870 level or 1865, and basically after FMC, and so we got a sell off. But the gold is basically stuck here. You will find basically here that there is a important pivot low here at uh, 1805. I also place it, we can also place the volume profile and for the whole this area, you will find out basically that the mean of this whole action here is around 1790 level. So now if the price will clear that 1805 with good momentum, we can eventually expect the gold to retest 1788. In that scenario, then watching for the selling opportunities. Um, on the rally, some conditional patterns towards this uh, 1788 will be preferable strategy. If you see some kind of rejection and some kind of redistribution upside, then probably back to the 1846 came into play. For now, we're just about to test this key pivot level uh, at 1805. So watch for that level to confirm the further direction. And we got a crude oil. Uh, crude oil actually broke the key pivot high that we made in October 27th right last year. And we got some reaction, we got a few days up and then price went down. But if you check here, we got inside day yesterday and there was a breakout and today we have a follow through. So it seems like we can really, the trend absolutely is upside on the short midterm uh, horizon, higher lows. And seems like the next pivot level, I cannot see any significant pivot uh, all the way um, towards this uh, 95, 94, 60 area, there is uh, some cluster of the lows at 91.30, but then a 94.75 can be really in the play. So watching for continuation of patterns um, on the crude oil for the way up, you know, some continuation bull patterns will be a nice idea. And Bitcoin versus US dollar, basically we have a few day balance, building the balance. We have the pin bar low at 33,000. We have the significant cluster of swing lows and potential resistance for price at 39,740. And we're basically balancing here. If we 
break upside, we can eventually try to test this 39,800. If we take the low of the pin bar at 33,000, we can eventually try to attack 29,000, um, 29,000 zone. So watch for the eventual breakout of this consolidation to confirm further direction. That will be all for this update. I hope that you did enjoy um, and trade safe as always and see you tomorrow morning.